What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we are gonna be doing the much awaited challenge of the wall clippers. I got them right behind me and my cousin who's gonna be partaking in this challenge. So shout out to him for one, for trusting me to do this haircut with some clippers that we don't know exactly how we're gonna react. Everything we're gonna be doing is gonna be straight out the box. So if there's not a cape in the box, we ain't gonna use a cape. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So if there's not a cape in the box, we ain't gonna use a cape. Um, so let's see what we have in the box before we get straight to this this cut. Look, I just flipped the switch. So these are our clippers that we're gonna be using here, and as you can see, it is a clip and trim. So this thing it turns into a trimmer somehow. So we we'll have to figure out how to use this, but we'll get it opened up and see all the contents of what we have in this box. So let's dive into it. We got our oil, which comes with every clipper that Wall puts out. We got a, a cutting comb in there. And we got guards, uh, the half guard to the eight guard all in the plastic as well. And then we got these Wall clippers. I have not used a quarter clipper since like 2018. So this is gonna be something else. And uh, I, like I said, it turns into a detailed trimmer somehow. I should read the instructions, but who needs those? Oh, there we go. So basically, it flips out, and this part attaches to the cutting blade on the back portion. We'll get it figured out here. And then it clips right in there. And there you got your trimmer right there. So, the blade is not zero gap, so I know we are not going to get a uh, a clean, clean cut. I don't know if you can see right here, the blade is not zero gapped with the other, the, the other blade, the stationary blade. So we'll see what these do. We're gonna get to the haircut. Like I said, we're using everything that is in here only. So we have uh, some cutting shears. So this is gonna be fun. So to make this video possible, we gotta remove everything we got away from this 245 mat. And we're just gonna go ahead and get these uh, clippers set up here, our, our Walmart clippers. And uh, the type of haircut we're gonna be doing today is going to be a low fade. And uh, hopefully it comes out pretty good. So now we're ready for this challenge. Got our clippers right here, removed all the professional gear. All we got is what's in the box. And then uh, a cape didn't come with the, the kit. So we're gonna go ahead and use a trash bag, the old school garage cut type way. So because we don't have a cape, we're gonna fasten one using our scissors that we got the cape and a trash bag and get this uh, thing going. Let's get to it. Oh, these guys are pretty cool. Like, like heavy duty plastic guys? Oh yeah. So here you go, you can see the blade is not zero gap. Straight out the box. That's what we're sounding like. Not too bad, it sounds pretty powerful. So I'm gonna keep it a whole buck with y'all, man. I was really, really, really nervous to do this haircut. I had extreme levels of anxiety because me personally, I like to put out the best possible quality work ever. And uh, honestly, I haven't used Walmart clippers since like 2013, 2012. Um, what I was using while I was in school with the Taper 2000s, which is like a trimmer and wall uh, wall clipper combo that they give you. Uh, I mean, it is cheap too, but um, I haven't really used Walmart clippers, but you know, I just attack this haircut like I attack every haircut, use the same process, and uh, just try to make sure I could put out the best possible work I can. And that is the challenge of the uh, of using these Walmart clippers is to see if it is the tool or if it is the person behind the tool that makes the haircut. So um, not gonna do too much of a tutorial on this video, just over much, it's just gonna be an overview or a commentary, so to speak, of what was hard and what wasn't. So to be, uh, completely honest it was a little bit difficult to blend certain areas uh, you know um but i was just attacking everything like normal um this clipper is extremely bulky in your hand especially for the fact that it includes a trimmer so they had to make room to um conceal that trimmer away from you know view so uh the the hair the 
the clipper was extremely bulky so that was one tough thing so um adjusting my lever you know you're stretching your thumb a little farther than normal i had to get used to you know getting that cord out of the way again i've been using cordless clippers now for a little over two years so just getting used to having a cord again with something else uh not to be able to have a brush you know because it's, it's much easier for me to use a brush and uh, these are all just little things that i've noticed that you know made a difference um not having a uh, a bigger clipper comb like to do clipper over comb uh, that was a, a little bit harder and uh the fact that uh i use these right off the box i didn't oil them i didn't use no cool care i didn't do none of that a everything we did was just straight out the box i didn't even adjust the blade if it was crooked or not but it looked pretty straight to me um and these are some walmart clippers you can get for like 29.99 um minus tax but they're extremely cheap extremely economical but you can see that they are doing you know they're doing their job they're doing what they're supposed to do and uh we are attacking this haircut just like we would every other haircut um and i'm not going to take full credit for the idea of this this video this is something that i seen early on uh from youtubers like chris basio uh matt gifted hands christian perez uh they all did these uh walmart clipper challenges uh i want to say like three four years ago and uh it's just something that i thought i would revive and try myself you know i've always been interested in trying to see if i can you know produce the same results and uh so i thought i'd give it a give it a whirl you know so right here uh we're trying to attack this weight right here on the side and this is this is probably one of the most difficult parts for me because this is where you know majority of the time i would just use a a, a, a wide comb and just do clipper over comb but having a small cutting comb was a lot more difficult uh, to attack this portion. And you can see me here just trying to trying to attack some clip over comb with that little comb as, as best as I can. Um, and usually for a haircut like this, it's gonna take me like, you know, 35, 45 minutes tops to knock out, you know, the blend and the edge up and all that stuff. And uh, with, this, with this haircut, I wanna say it took like, I wanna say an hour and 15 minutes, you know, just, you know, I think overthinking it and just trying to produce the best results ever. And, you know, as barbers, you are the biggest, you know, uh, you are your biggest critic. You will always think that you can do something better. Uh, you'll always look at a fade and not think that it's good enough and that's just something that you know an artist goes through is that you have you have that eye for your work and you want to see the best possible results so you always think less of your work than you know than you should for the most part i, I feel like that's what everybody goes through uh, who is an artist whether it's uh, musicians or you know uh, painters uh, whatever whatever what whatever it may be that you are an artist at i feel like a lot of people go through that so that's something that i, I you know I was thinking of in the back of my head throughout the throughout the duration of this haircut but um you know i'm looking at this haircut and, and it's not that bad at all um but like i said the i didn't use no clipper oil didn't use no no cool care so the blade was the blade was hot the clippers were hot in my hand um at this portion it wasn't at its hottest yet until we get later on in the video when i do the opposite side of the head um one thing about these shears they absolutely sucked so these shears were dull um the metal was cheap when i was trying to do uh shear over comb right here the hair was just bending uh inside the blades so it, it was tough and right here um in this part of the video i tried to do some point cutting right there and it was not working out because the uh ends of the shears are like rounded and doled out they're not pointed so that was very difficult to try to do that and so when i'm attacking the shear um the shear work at this portion i was having to go pretty slow and make sure that we get all that hair cut uh because it was not really working out that the way i wanted to as far as the shears are concerned but we made sure that we just used everything that we had within the uh the contents of the box and uh the fade is not looking too bad um i time lapsed this side and just sped it up a, a lot because we're going to send the same exact steps as we did on the right side like i do with every haircut and uh, i mean when you watch the video at this speed you could really see the blend come together so i can't be too you know too mad at myself we made it happen we made it work with some walmart clippers um right here i attacked the back and we bridged the, both the left and the right sides together and uh, make sure we get this all knocked out and at this point is when the clippers were at their uh their hottest point at one point in the video i actually lay the uh, 
clipper blade on his head on the neck so he could feel how hot it is and uh he he felt the heat um and uh my cousin here he cuts hair he cuts hair himself yeah uh, he's probably one of the biggest inspirations on on why i cut hair in general so you know shout out to him for you know us getting to this point where you know i'm cutting his hair and he's not really cutting my hair no more so um it's it's uh a turn of the tables and it's a pretty dope experience to you know see me behind the chair now me with the clippers and it's kind of crazy for him to be asking me questions and my opinions on different things in barbering when at one point you know we were in opposite ends of the spectrum i was asking him questions and this and that but uh you know that that was just pretty cool to uh for him to allow me to do this uh clipper challenge and he had full faith in me he he really had a lot of confidence that i would put out some really good work with these clippers so um so i'm looking forward to, to calling out some people and to challenging some people to take on this this uh this feat and see if y'all can accomplish it and see what kind of blurry work y'all could put out so at the end of this video i'm going to go ahead and call some people out but um you can see the back end is coming together i do end up doing some sheer over uh i'm sorry clipper over comb work and uh right here you're just taking your time you know and uh just making sure everything's blended and you can see it's, it's blending these clippers are not bad clippers at all um i'm pretty sure they can be zero gap too but i'm not uh i i didn't try to at, at least but uh i'm pretty sure they can be but right here clip over comb lever open um this was a fun video to make just you know just extremely nerve-wracking um just you know wanted to put out the best possible quality work but it, it all worked out the video came out pretty dope in my opinion i hope you guys are enjoying this content hope you guys are enjoying the haircut for one um but we're gonna go ahead and get to my trimmer review aspect right here so now we're gonna grab these clippers and uh Put them in the trimmer mode so this comes back and slide that blade in there and then snap it on you can see the trimmer blade moving so hopefully we can get a good edge of but first we're gonna clean up the neck okay They're hitting a lot better than I thought they would. Now we're going to do the C-cut portion of the vertical bars and see what kind of edge up we can get with these trimmers. Now you can hear my voice, the uh, how surprised I was and how much they were eating the hair on the uh, the nape area. Um, they were they were killing it as far as debulking back there and, and just getting it uh, closer to the skin. But when it comes to the edge of portion and trying to get the C cup crispy vertical bar, it was not doing its job at all. Um, I had to go over the area over and over and over again, and I already knew this was going to be an issue when I seen how uh, far how separated the two blades were the stationary and the cutting blade and uh, i knew i wasn't gonna get a crispy edge up because the blades weren't close enough but you know they did do they did what they could and i mean that's really all i could say about that it was just extremely hard to get any definition in the line and um, when i did go over the edge up you can still kind of see the shadow of where her hair still was and you know so for me that that really sucked but you know i didn't really expect anything uh, more than that especially with a trimmer that is connected to the actual clipper but you know overall the haircut came out nice and blurry you know uh it's blended everything is you know flowing together um the clippers for 30 bucks i mean you, you can't you can't really get a better deal than that if you're at home cutting hair or if you're watching this and you may not be a barber but you cut your kids hair or your husband's hair or whoever's hair um I would say, you know, try to buy these and check them out. So we just got done with the cut and uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Uh, thank you for sticking through this video. I'm gonna let you see it and uh, we'll go from there. But there's the cut guys, low fade. Uh, try to keep some weight on the ridge and uh, drop it on down back to the occipital bone. Um, 
took my time, did the best I possibly could. Um, so shout out to everybody sticking through the video. Thank you for checking out this video. And uh, just tell me what you think down in the comments and let me know if you guys try it. I'll check out your challenge as well. Well, there you have it, everybody. That's the Walmart Clipper Challenge. There's the trimmer that turns into a, uh, a clipper or a clipper that turns into a trimmer. However you want to see it, uh, you've seen the haircut, got the aftermath of uh, all the contents that we have uh, right there with the clipper box. We didn't use anything else but what came in that clipper box. Even put a cape together that's super sweaty because it is hot here in Texas. But anyway, shout out to my cousin for letting me hook him up with the haircut um, or not hook him up with a haircut. However y'all see fit with how you think the haircut came out. But I appreciate everybody clicking on this video. Appreciate everybody sticking all the way through. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. Follow me on Instagram, at jblends underscore. Uh, stay tuned. 2K is on the horizon and we're gonna be giving away that 245 power mat. So just lock in. And once again, thank you for watching the video. Until next time, peace. And I almost forgot before before we end this video, I gotta call out five barbers to take on this Walmart Clipper Challenge. That's gonna be Sean Cuts Hair, Cuts by Coast, Concise the Barber, Chris without an H, and Main Cuts the Barber. Go check out all their channels on YouTube. They all got great content. I challenge y'all to go buy the cheapest Walmart Clippers you can, uh, spend the least amount of money as you can to go do this challenge. Uh, I got a pair of Clippers that turned into a trimmer for $29.99. Let's see what y'all got. Can't wait to see y'all's videos. And until next time, peace.